So hey y'all, back by popular demand is the 1959 Dodge Coronet. So we got a lot of new subscribers and I just wanted to reintroduce the car to the channel. So I put together a little video just to kind of show how we got to where we are right now. We took this car all the way down to the bare metal and started all over. Tons of body work, lots of rust repair, block sanding, you name it. So we took this car down to the bare metal using nothing more than Harbor Freight grinders and Harbor Freight wire wheels. So hey, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. some of this dust off we'll get it all wiped down really well and then we'll move on to the next step I was dipping my beard in it the whole time over there Alright, so that takes care of that. Let's get her all tacked off here. This is our self-etching primer. This will bite into that bare metal and then our 2K primer will go on top of that. And this is always fun, you guys, when you get your, your primer and you open it up and you find all of that. <laughs> Good times. All right, so we got a lot of stirring to do. So this is after two coats. Really nice. Now I'm going to put one more medium wet coat on it and then we're going to call it good. So after the primer set up overnight, I block sanded it with 320 grit sandpaper and now it's time for a nice even coat of sealer. And yeah, the sealer came just like the primer did. Lots of stirring needed. Alright. So after letting the sealer dry, I was able to go over it with a sticky tack cloth. This will get rid of all of the dust and debris that may have settled on the surface. We'll follow that up by mixing up our paint and getting ready to spray. That's coat number one, and it's freaking shiny. Look at this. Woo! 
get that second coat on there and see where we're at. God, the way it laid down so smooth. Wait till you see it against the, the blue paint. Oh man, I can't wait. So having the roof down will make the rest of the car a lot easier to deal with. Let's move on to some block sanding. We have about 150 hours total worth of block sanding to do to this car. Just like before, don't forget your tack rag. Now for an even coat of sealer. Let's see if I can do this without making too big of a mess. And then it's on to paint. So next morning, let's see what we ended up with here. Peel this off all nice and easy. There we go. Just like that. It's a tight little spot here. I've been complaining about it the whole time. So now it's time for the blue paint. We're going to start the two-tone process, and these are all original colors, you guys. All right, y'all, so there's the first coat. You can see what I'm talking about? A kind of see through it. It's just kind of just kind of fogged on there really lightly. See real good on the quarter here. That's all you want on that first coat. Uh, that's just a safety precaution to make sure that the next coat has something to hang on to because the next coat's gonna go on much heavier. The next coat will be like a medium wet coat.
All right, so we got the paint and the gun. We're gonna get our third coat on right now. This is awesome. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. This is where it all comes together, everybody. This is what we've been waiting for all this time. Really cool. Oh, that is amazing. That's cool, peeling that tape off like that and seeing them two colors coming together, man. That is just awesome. And then again, I guess like before, it just kind of wraps itself up into the jam there. Fenders, doors, quarters, whatever, it all, all that two-tone goes, wraps around inside the panel. Just makes it a little extra nice, and then of course we to go with the rest of it. So yeah, man. Man, that's fun peeling that tape off there. I'll show you guys a little more of the fins coming out. I recorded this on the other side, or so I thought. Turns out I was just over there talking to myself for five minutes. So, here you go. I'll try it on this side. There's that gas door. It'll slip on through there. There we go, like that. I think we did some pretty good work today. What do y'all think? Let's get back here and have a look at it. And there she is. She's a little dirty. We got to do some cleaning on her. Try not to do that too much. I hate it when people do that to my paint jobs, but. Man, she does look good, even without the trim, the bumpers, or anything. I mean, it, she looks like a million bucks compared to when she got here. Yeah, she was a little rusty and crusty when she showed up, but she is slick and smooth now. So what we're dealing with right now is we had an issue right here on the top of the fender. You might can still see some of it. You see there? We had a whole bunch of water drip right out of the end of the air chuck on the air hose where, where you plug the gun in, and when it did, it just dribbled right out. Made a big mess right on top of the fender. I couldn't live with it. I didn't really want to try just spotting it in, you know, so I went ahead and just scuffed this entire side of the car down. Only the blue, that's all we got to worry about is the blue. We don't have to worry about the white. It's fine. Super easy just to reshoot the stripe. Uh, we'll have to do the doors too. We got to do the whole side, remember? I've got the doors prepped, ready to go. Yeah, they're already sanded down, ready to go. So be sure to join me on the next video because that is exactly what we're going to do. We're picking right up where we left off and we're going to get this car done once and for all. Still plenty left to do on it, you guys. Tons of jewelry got to go back on this one. Miles of trim, bumpers, you name it. We still got to put the hood on it. Got to put these two doors. We got to do all this, man. Tons of work. And the glass, y'all. I don't know, man. I've never put one of these in before, so we'll see how that goes. So, hey, man, I had a good time making this video. It's been a long time since I made one with all the time lapses and the music and all of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it brought y'all up to speed uh, in case you're new and even if you've been with us for a while you probably missed the old girl just like i have so i can't wait to get back on it start working on it again and that is exactly what we're going to do on the next video so you guys don't forget my instagram my facebook all that good stuff please hit the subscribe button help the channel grow the better the channel does the better the content gets so i'll see you guys next time